In the previous video we talked about creating branches using the terminal interface, as well as how to switch between branches and delete old branches. In this video we're going to focus on something called rebasing. Rebasing is quite similar to merging in the sense that it moves data from one branch to another, but whereas merging is typically done from the featured branch into a development branch and then into the main branch, Rebasing is normally done in the opposite direction. To help demonstrate this, I've gone ahead and actually created a few branches locally. So initially I created two new branches, Feature 1 and Feature 2. Both of these were created immediately after the previous video. So the code base which both branches started with is identical. In Feature 1 I went ahead and created a to-do list and committed that which I then merged into the master branch. As you can see here, we have the to-do list, which is very simple at the moment. But that change obviously isn't reflective in the feature 2 branch. Before we merge our feature 2 branch into the master branch, and risk damaging or breaking the code within the master branch, we may want to actually test that our code is going to work in the master branch. And so to do this, we may want to pull all of the changes from the master branch into our feature 2 branch. An example use case of this would be if you had agreed a predefined set of features that you were going to add to a piece of software, and a deadline approached, and one of the features was not complete. You would obviously want to release as much of the features as possible, and then push back the remaining feature until the next release. So in that example, you would merge all of the existing branches, the completed branches, into the master branch. And after that's complete, you would go ahead and rebase all of those changes into the remaining feature branch, which is exactly what we're going to do now. So if we change across the feature 2 branch, we can see that the to-do list has been removed on the left here because that file was only in the feature 1 branch and the master branch after it was merged. And so to pull that change across into our feature 2 branch, we can just type git rebase and then the branch we want to rebase from. So in this case the master branch. And now you can see that the to-do list has appeared in our feature 2 branch. In terms of how this works, remember when we were talking about having a staging area in our workspace. The staging area keeps a track of all of the changes that have been made, rather than what the actual file looks like at that point. And so when you apply a rebase, all that is happening is all of those changes are being applied to the current directory. So within the staging area for the master branch immediately before we rebased it, was a change to add a new file called to do as well as the contents of that file. When we rebased, all that happened was that those changes were applied to the current working branch. We can of course go back across to the master branch now. And if we merge in our feature 2, any changes that we made within our feature 2 branch will also be applied to the master branch. So in this video we've introduced the topic of rebasing and we've discussed how it's almost identical to merging but in reverse. In the next video we're going to look at collaborating, except this time from the command line instead of using the Windows GitHub client, including how to fork and create pull requests. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.